the coastal waters, followed by the repetition of the navigation warning and the forecast, which was issued today, Monday the 15th of August at 0330 UTC. General situation, a bit of high pressure. I started fishing at a very early age. When I left school at 16 I went straight to sea and have been fishing ever since. I'm 13. My current boat is in the North Doom. She's an APR 29 hull design built of fiberglass in 1981. I built her for the Isle of Skye and steamed her home to Orkney in April 2005. She's 29 feet long and has a beam of 11 feet. She draws 5 feet of water. The engine is an 80 horsepower Ford and her top speed is 7 knots. The hydraulic hauler is capable of lifting loads of up to 1 ton. On a typical day I'm up at 6 and off to sea by 7. But this depends on the time of year, the sea and tide conditions. Depending on how many creels I have to haul, I can be back in at the pier by 5. Although my day still isn't finished, I still have to tie lobsters, cut buttons and prepare for the next day. The main catch is lobsters and velvet crabs which are caught in the creels. Other seasonal catches include whelks and edible brown crabs, known locally as buckies and buttons. The creels are plastic cottage steel frames covered with netting and usually have two eyes where the lobster enter the trap. They are bedded with scad or horse mackerel. In this day and age, with lobsters being scarce due to our fishing, one lobster out of every ten creels is an acceptable catch. But with the sea, nothing is predictable. A backdrop is 20 creels linked with rope and a chain anchor at each end. I have 400 creels in use at the minute. Because I work on my own, I usually fish during daylight hours, which is grand in the long summer days, but not so easy in the winter months, where the daylight can be as little as 7 hours. One of the biggest problems are the selfies. These seals can burst open creels and steal the bait, which allows the catch to escape, damaging gear in the process. Due to Stronzi being on the east side of Orkney, the worst winter seas comes from the southeast. In heavy seas, the creels can be damaged or swept away, or the boat can be stormbound for weeks at a time. This results in loss of income and an increase of expense as a replacement drop of 20 trailers can cost up to £750. Obviously the weather can be a huge problem as the sea can be very unpredictable and conditions can change rapidly. Although we don't take quotas for shellfish landed at the minute, it's only a matter of time before we do. The cost of fuel is constantly rising. In the last 10 years it has been for 14 to 32 pence a litre, yet the price of shellfish has remained the same. A few years ago, Orkney Fisheries Association funded a scheme to ensure the future of lobster fishing in Orkney waters. Originally the scheme rewarded fishermen with a cash incentive for no landing buried females. And the lobsters were marked with a V-cut in one of their tail fins so they could be easily identified if they were caught again. Some fishermen still re-notch lobsters to ensure the future benefits, as lobsters cast their shells regularly. Although the cash incentive has ended, it is still illegal to land V-notched lobsters. 
price of the fishing licence added a further 12000 to the price of the boat. As there are no new licences issued, the prices are increasing. Also, to get a bigger licence, you need to buy two or more licences and aggregate them together, but you lose another 10% for each licence added. When a boat is sold, the licence doesn't automatically go it, as the licensee might be having a new boat built. This is a knock-on effect on the boat's new owner, in that he has to go and find a suitable licence or licences to cover the size of his boat. It's compulsory to complete various safety courses, including sea survival, firefighting, basic first aid and safety awareness. The boat is inspected regularly by the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency to ensure that it's seaworthy. The life raft and fire extinguishers are serviced annually. The boat is fitted with radar, GPS plotter, echo sounder and VHF radio for constant communication. Once lobsters are landed in Stronzi, they are shipped alive to Kirkwall, they know in sooth and could end up on a dinner plate in a posh London restaurant. But the money you pay in the restaurant doesn't end up in your pooch. Most of the velvet crabs are shipped live to Spain. I love the sea and enjoy being outside and get a real buzz when I get a lobster and a creel. While outside a million stars were winking sleep, it wouldn't come for thinking. 
thinking of the looking for it. But Willie said to me, Oh, Willie's tall and Willie's funny. Willie has no muckle money. No, that seller matters when I can I do him will. But I think I'd better tarry. Bide a wee afore I marry. Bide till Willie's catching mare than partons in his curiel.